this video, we're learning how to convert radians to degrees. And just a little reminder that radians and degrees are just both different units that are commonly used to measure the measure of angles. So typically you probably hear of angles measured in degrees, but radians is another unit. It's kind of similar to how you can measure distance in inches or centimeters or something like that. So let's jump into example one, which is pi over four radians. And if you look at the top of the screen, it says to convert radians to degrees, you're gonna multiply by 180 degrees over pi. And this is because 180 degrees, and I'll write this over here, is equal to pi radians. So because they're equal, when you multiply by 180 degrees over pi, you're really multiplying by one. And if you multiply anything by one, it just stays the same. So that's why we're just gonna multiply by 180 degrees over pi, because we are multiplying by one, and it'll just change our units. So taking a look at example one, we have pi over four radians. So I'm gonna rewrite pi over four. And now I just wanna multiply by 180 degrees over pi, and now we just want to simplify. And the nice thing is, is that if your radians start with a pi in the numerator, when you multiply by 180 over pi, you can just cross cancel the pi's out and they go to one. So really, we have 180 degrees over four, and then we can just simplify this by dividing the top and bottom by four. And 180 divided by four is going to give us 45 on the top. Four divided by four gives us one on the bottom. So we get that pi over four radians is equal to 45 degrees. Moving on to example two, we have seven pi over six radians. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna start by rewriting seven pi over six, and we're gonna multiply by 180 over pi, and we're gonna cross reduce. So we can cross out these pi's, and I'm gonna cross reduce the six and the 180 degrees by dividing them both by six. Six divided by six is one, 180 divided by 6 is going to give us 30 on the top. So now we have 7 times 30 on the top, which is going to give us 210. And on the bottom, 1 times, I guess these should be 1s over here, 1 times 1 is 1. So we get 210 degrees. Moving on to example 3, we have 9 pi over 10 radians. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to start by rewriting 9 pi over 10 and we're gonna multiply by 180 degrees over pi, and let's cross reduce. So we can cross out the pi's, and I'll just leave a one on the bottom here, and then we can cross reduce 10 and 180 by dividing them both by 10. 10 divided by 10 is one, 180 divided by 10 is 18, and now we just wanna multiply straight across. Nine times 18 is gonna give us 162 on the top, one times one gives us a one on the bottom, so we get that nine pi over 10 radians is equal to 162 degrees. And I encourage you guys for the last problem to pause the video and try it on your own, just to make sure you understand this, and then you can watch me work through it to make sure you've done it correctly. So our last one is eight pi over three radians. We're just gonna do the same thing we've been doing, so we're gonna multiply by 180 degrees over pi. Let's cross reduce these pi's, we're left with a one on the bottom. And let's cross reduce three and 180 by dividing them both by three. Three divided by three is one. 180 divided by three is 60. And now we're gonna multiply straight across. Eight times 60 on the top is going to give us 480. One times one on the bottom is one. So we get that eight pi over three radians is equal to 480 degrees. So hopefully this video helped you guys understand how to convert radians to degrees. You just have to remember to multiply by 180 degrees over pi. And if you want to learn how to convert degrees to radians, check out the link in our description for a video explaining how to do that.